Um, I interviewed with Ed Rothblatt, who is a patriarch of the firm, Frost, Rotenberg, and Rothblatt. That is, that is the Rothblatt. Um, back in 1980, right before I got out of school. And it was actually, I had already accepted a job elsewhere at the time. Um, I actually wasn't going into public accounting. And our family accountant um, said, you know, you ought to, I, I have breakfast at this restaurant, Jack's, with a bunch of guys. This guy, Ed Rothblatt, you ought to call him and talk to him. I said, okay, you know, what, what, what the heck? What do I have to lose? Um, so I made a phone call. I got his secretary, and his secretary says, well, you know, he, Ed doesn't have uh, time for two weeks. I said, well, thank you for the call, but I'm, you know, I'm making a decision to accept the job. Well, h hold on. And she comes back, and she says, he'll see you this afternoon at 2 o'clock. Don't wear a suit. And I got off the phone, and I was living at home, and I'm talking to my parents. I'm going, wait, this, this is strange. So, of course, I went in a suit and tie, and I'm sitting there, and I'm, I'm shaking in my shoes. And he says, okay, so what do you want to talk about? I, I don't know. He goes, uh, you're wearing a suit. Got to tell you a story. We had a guy in here. He works here now. And he came in, and he was wearing a suit, and he had a briefcase. Big guy. Plays hockey. Like, and um, we're talking, and I asked him what was in the briefcase. And he started to shake, and he started to sweat. And he said, nothing. There's my, my sandwiches in the briefcase. They told me to bring a briefcase to interview. He goes, I don't understand why you kids do that. And, and he goes, well, what's your favorite movie? So we started talking about that. My favorite movie at the time in his was One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. We talked. We had a conversation about everything, nothing to do with accounting, nothing to do with working, for about an hour and a half. Everything, personal, this, that, and the other. And at the end of the interview, he says to me, what didn't I ask you? I said, well, you didn't ask me the question that everybody asks. Where do you want to be in five years? He goes, I don't give a damn where you want to be in five years. We could all be dead in five years. And at that point in time, I knew if he offered me a job, I'm working here. Okay. And he says to me, he goes, Okay, you want the job, we'll pay you what we're paying the guy we just hired a couple weeks ago. And I said, well, I'd love to, but I'm not really sure what that is. And that's, that's my story of uh, how I came to work at FRNR. And I think that kind of in a nutshell defines the almost 30 years since then. And I think that defines the type of firm that we are, that it's really about the people, it's about the clients, it's about their needs. And yes, business is behind it, and that's what we do, but that's not what is really defined here. And that, I think, is the best kept secret.